Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and Age of Wonders for the Witch of the Wilds Morrigan. The Inheritor is on the doorstep of Alistair's capital city and soon Ferelden will be no more. I realized I want Ferelden to kneel to me because of course Alistair kneeling before Morrigan is just a pleasant thought. However... No. However, if this fight actually happens in six turns, if they don't come at me and I can wipe their armies, uh, I'll take the capital and destroy their leader, which means they'll lose. So at this point, it's just up to what Alistair does. If Alistair makes a silly move, Alistair loses. If Alistair is willing to compromise, Alistair survives. Which is quite typical, to be honest. Alistair causes most of his own problems. So, um, we have five turns of sieging, which is not exciting at all, but we do have a new city. Rivergate, which of course is going to be needing a new name, but I'm going to wait on the nameage, because there's a chance this city is released as a vassal. A chance. We also have minus domain due to a recent event. I think what happened is the event that was going to give me a cultural trait bugged out or a societal trait and selected the third option which is of course the cultural the city instability I don't know how but I also noticed I don't have a second shadow affinity which I should if we got that trait so not entirely sure what happened there but um we just gotta accept it now we have constructed the monolith here and I want the mages guild but right now our mana is happen so we can get some more knowledge. We also summoned a phoenix from thin air. So we could do that again, but uh, it does it cost Imperium upkeep, so maybe we don't. Maybe we do not. I want Gardens of Bliss. I want so many things. We can also get a Golem Mine. Oh, we don't have a great spot for it. We, we, we were going to put it like here, weren't we? I think that was the play. Possibly. You can merchandise. It's fine. Or you can make it a state hall. That's actually good because we're going to make the Garden of Bliss eventually, which will convert 10% of food income to mana. So if we can get more food income, well, that's more mana. You're chilling. In fact, I think we're just going to guard here while the siege is under being undertaken. Hmm. If I move north, will you stop bugging me? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Exhilarating pollen has been researched. We are now going to grab Gaia's chosen... I want these kind of a guy's chosen. That will be our major race transformation, so we need to stack up that mana. I would love to get a new hero. Absolutely love to get a new hero. Oh, magic attacks inflict sunder defense. I don't think we're going to do that. Beastmaster. Appropriate. Hmm. Now, our next hero is going to be a melee brawler. This war is tiresome. Yeah, not for me. A treaty has expired with Greenhold. We are getting mana or research. Let's pump that research. You know the rules. So do I. Uh, just double checking real quick. Let's make sure all of our trades are still ongoing. They are. Fantastic. How is our... Take a quick, brief overlook at the diplomatic situation. You don't like me a whole lot. But at least that's improving. Thanks to the Declaration of Friendship. And if I ever get enough ma money... Actually... Yeah, I can't settle that grievance. That's the seed... You are just respectful. That's fine. No big deal. I feel like these should be returning to me. Can I check? I thought this was a temporary thing, not like permanently given to you. Well, whatever, it's fine. Blint, presently, we're holding him back just by having so many grievances against him, so that's cool. Grimgore... Doesn't want to declare war on me yet. And I hope it just remains that way. 
I don't know why he declared rivalry right out the gate. And this guy is being held in place simply due to my declaration of friendship. Okay. Great. That's fantastic. We're currently fourth rank, though. Would you look at that? We're smack dab in the middle. We are the median. We could further investigate. Wait, no. We got this. But we didn't get a shadow affinity. A destiny trait, huh? I feel like something isn't working here. I don't know what. But something is being weird. Alistair has constructed the Seed of Order. You're a bit late, my dude. Rivergate has its tavern. And the event has concluded. Which is all well and good. See, if we had actually gotten that destiny trait, it would be showing some sort of penalty here for not having a wonder in this settlement. I don't, I don't know. Now, because I'm thinking about just releasing this, I mean, it's not a bad city. The problem is there's no really way to expand. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to let it produce for a little bit. Just let it chill. Don't need to spend money on this. Gain knowledge whenever a unit gains the rank. How much knowledge is the question? But I don't dislike that. How much is it to increase my city cap? We're still at 200. I'm going to get this. You can tell I'm obsessed with knowledge. A trade proposal. You would like peace. Nope. A treaty has expired with Stone Tree. Draft the food. Let's take the food. A military alliance has been formed between Blint and Grimgore. That's not good. That means that inevitably when we attack Blint, Grimgore will come at us as well. Which honestly isn't the worst because they're both coming from the same direction. So it's not like the most absolute worst thing in the world. Grimgore has built a seed of order. What has the AI done to you, Grimgore? This is heresy. We are approaching heresy yet foreseen. Never before seen. Guy has chosen is complete. Uh, I mean, 10% damage is good. But so is lightning and electrification. Electrified. And this should be done in one turn. Let's pop it. Indeed it was. In doo doo. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, okay. We're gonna get Blessing of Paradise. I could have gotten the one turn thing to try and, you know, continue boosting through my research. But, yeah. Now, I'm gonna wait one turn before we start building anything. Or I'm gonna build the Garden of Bliss. I think I should just build the Workers Guild due to the sheer volume of quarries I have. <sighs> no, let's let's do it. Screw it. And we're gonna get a hero as soon as I can. Ooh, those two are breaking their pact. Okay. Alistair has crossed me. I'm beating him up right now. Blint and Rangrim are at war. I was falsely denounced by Grimgore. And that gave me a whole bunch of grievances. Hmm. I wonder which one of these is worth more. I think it's this one. Was that a good usage of my time? I don't know. Guy has chosen cost 600 mana and we're going to start casting it. I should have done this one first. So we'll switch that. The progress that we made towards Guy has chosen was already absorbed, so... It's fine. We'll grab the Amplify mine thing. <laughs> he recognizes his transgressions, team. You are summoned by Gomurudum, but you are not greeted by Baroness Malisa Nightcourt. Instead of resuming diplomatic negotiations, her eldest daughter hails you. Good day, which of the wilds Morrigan, the inheritor. I am Deliria Nightcourt of Gomurudum. I believe the rule of my mother is failing. 
unfortunately. I am eager and capable to step in, but I fear that the, um, transition might prove arduous. I will make a better ally than my mother. Will you support the scheme of Deliria to supplant the Baroness? I sure will. Absolutely. Morgan, well, attempts to kill her own mother, so this all works out. And we have enough good boy points that we remain good. So, there's that. New Lothering has produced its academy. I'd like to save my money for a hero. Actually, we're going to be like two gold short. So we'll just make it me cynical. And New Lothering can also annex. What are you standing on? Gold vein? Is this going to upset you? Okay. Lightning focus is ready to go. Go. Be free. Now we are back to casting that spell. And we're fine with that. We can finally get diplomatic channels for another whispering orb. We're going to save our Imperium. That's good, but we're going to save our Imperium. Remember, even when we do eventually get all Supreme Vassals, the Whispering Orbs can go into our cities to improve stability. So, they're not useless. So you are back to... You, you jumped really high. I like that. And now you're going to give me knowledge. Fantastic. You're going to give me gold. Alrighty. Treaty has expired. Negotiations have succeeded. That was you. Yes, yes, yes. Treaty has expired. End the turn. We're just blowing through these turns, trying to get the siege going. If I can take the capital city, I'm going to name it New Denerim, which is the capital for Elden. I mean, I want flowing fields as well. Oh. Oh. Flint. The blessing of paradise... We can now get our second tier four tome, and we are going to get the tome of the Astral Mirror. The reason we're getting this, of course, is because Borrigan is one of the few living beings that can repair and activate the Illuvian, the magical mirror that is used to teleport places. Astral Convergence is really cool, but um, this will be fun. Trust me. The ability to conjure an exact likeness of one's own body in its present circumstance is a feat in itself. But additionally infusing these likenesses with reflection magic that sends destructive energy back at one's foes. Sheer genius. Truly. Truly. I want all of this. The mimics are really cool, but they do cost Imperium to upkeep, so I think we're going to chill on that. Astral Reflections can be incredibly powerful, depending on how we use this. And Astral Revelation is just hilarious. You see, like, the entire map, and there's nothing they can do to stop you. So we'll lock that, and we'll grab Astral Reflections. It is cheaper, after all. My domain has been invaded. By Rangrim. Well, well, well. I'm about to gain a whole bunch of grievances against him. Now, the downside is as long as our declaration of friendship is in place, I gain less grievances. So what we could do is I could end this. This also breaks the opposing ruler's declaration if they have one. So if I do this, if I end this friendship right now, we're going to lose 400 modifier. But... I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. We could even go straight into a declaration of rivalry, but I think I'm just going to denounce instead. This is probably worth more. Okay. Yeah, so declaration has expired. I did that. This underground passage is right next to New Lothering. If we can get Alistair to either die or bend the knee, 
we can just turn around and plop right into his capital city. Uh huh. He recognizes his transgressions. You're the one who started ending all of our stuff in the first place. Don't don't give me this. Don't 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 lie to me. That is now an ice field. Hmm. Okay, so this, this can become the golem mine in time. We have enough funds now to recruit our maximum level hero. And I was looking at the list, and... Like, lucky is good. The plague bear... No, 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 no. I was looking through the list, and... I didn't like our feline options, which is, of course, all the references we could make. Friends of Ogres is always fun, but it's kind of like an earlier thing, I think. But then I noticed these two demonic moles are both Shadow Adepts. Shadow Adepts give us additional Shadow Affinity without actually having to do anything about that. So we're going to grab this fella, who looks nice and imposing, and we're going to give him some gear. Going to crypt. Who had the bonking stick? Not you. Ah, yes, the traitorous Jonas, the strong, a champion from the strangers' playthrough, who has wronged us, betrayed us. Please let me click on the army. Fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and respect you as well. I do like demon spec, demon step, however. Probably not more than summon animal. Alrighty, let's get all of the fighting. Fighting one, defense one, fighting two, defense two, sentinel, defense three, and probably keen edge for the curve. Now you take Yaka's Fury. This is a tier four two-handed weapon. That deals loads of damage and has an AoE effect to it. So you're going to want killing momentum soon as well. Bring a vampirism for healing. Raise the undead. Sure. And that for some ranged power. To make this even better, we can go into our Imperium tree and grab the right of the armorer to gain the breastplate of the champion. And of course, a champion needs a name. Guildmaster, huh? That's that's actually appropriate for this. So when I think of two-handed warriors from Dragon Age, three come to mind. Ogren, the dwarf, Fenris, the elf, one of my favorite characters in the entire series, and the newer character, the Iron Bull. Now, I was going to make this Iron Feline if we got a cat here, but the Iron Bull is named that because... Well, he's a Kunari, which means he is big, burly, and he has horns. So this kind of just works out. Can we get rid of this chest piece? Is it a cape that's giving you this weird thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't obstruct your glorious horns. In fact, let's just customize this, shall we? We don't do that very often. I guess it depends on what your outfit can be. No. Nope. Okay. Um... I don't really remember what the Iron Bull looks like, but I'm pretty sure he wears more, like, leathery stuff than anything else. So, good enough. And then, he has, like, one shoulder pad, right? Where was that thing? Did I miss it? No. That looks ridiculous. This all looks ridiculous. There we go, we got this. The Iron Bull. He was a leader of a mercenary, so Guildmaster makes sense. Of course, you can't be mounted with the two-handed weapon. All well and good. Welcome, Iron Bull. Now, as for your army, we're going to need some supports for you. And I have just enough to get the Summer and Spring Fairy. Great. And you can now become the governor of Rivergate, which will be a temporary matter, I assure you. Alistair. That's very rude. That's exceptional. He just snuck over from the, across the mountain. But, little does he know, or 
He probably does know. He cannot siege me. He would like a province claiming pact for free. Well. All right. Let's not ruin all of our friendships. Speaking of friendships, how are you doing? You don't want to declare with me, do you? You just want to... <laughs> Look at that tier three bow. All right. Well, as long as we're hanging out around indifferent, that's fine. Be fun if he redeclared me. A treaty has expired. Let's fix that. Let's get production. A free city can be integrated. No, I'm good. They're defending themselves quite well. I was insulted. Look at this major justification. That's beautiful. Alistair has crossed you. I have a feeling war with Grimgor is like inevitable. So I think what's going to happen is once we're safe from this mess, we just turn around and we declare on Blint. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go. This is going to be a manual combat because Alistair himself has returned to the field. And we're going to have to put him in his place. Now remember, with the Reaper Bolt Throwers, we can break all this stuff. And we're going to. Wow. Well done, Alistair. You used a ranged attack. I didn't know you had it in you. Alrighty. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. The tower bombardment broke two of the towers, so I kind of want to do this here, but I also want to do it here. I don't know how much, how much damage do you do? 15. It's a one hex, though. Let's just play it safe. Just play it safe. Let's turn the camera a little bit. Oh, game. Calm down, game. We're not doing anything crazy, game. The knights are being bold. I don't know how I feel about that. The Lianya is here. Ready to rock and ready to roll. We could try and immobilize, but I think we just summon this. In fact, I can try and convert. Let's go. Wow. Hmm. You miss every shot you don't take. He's on the wall, so our sh our chance to hit here is pretty, pretty awful. TBH. Are there any more knights? No, that's the only one. But we do need to start waddling in this direction, so we will. You can't move. You're good. You're good. Alrighty. We'll take some 30s, why not? Wow, we grazed. Not bad. Stay there in case you're needed. Fairies start moving. We're going to drag this spear along the way. Because we have stuff to do. You know? We need to get over here to where all the fighting is. Teach Grimgore a thing or two about fighting. Now you can summon your animal companion. I don't feel the need above, really. Just, uh... Big chillin', really. See what the AI does, you know? Okay. Come at me! You, well, you won't kill this... Oh, uh, My baby spoder. The archer tried to flank Liliania. Well, tried, they did. Alistair Demon stepped in and then didn't do anything. And that guy didn't move. Questions. 
Uncertainties. Curiosities. Alright, let's do it. This will affect everybody. Looks like we hit mostly everyone. Not Alistair, though. But that's fine, because we have Morrigan. Security over channel. And Marcus Prank. Now... The only question is, how do I interrupt this? Are you real? I think you're real. Yeah. Maybe? No, you're fake. Okay, great. I knew he was fake because Delianya is standing right here. Now, I think she should just kill something, to be honest. And the knight is probably the safest bet. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wunderbar. That's only a 30%, but if we crit it, it's good. Nailed it. I love crit rate. It's beautiful. We'll waddle down here and get a heal up. Of course, I could have done that to give the strength thing before we did all of our attacks, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, you were summoned. I am a little concerned about this. You you cannot disrespect this archer too much. Like it's just a basic archer unit, yes. But if you disrespect it, it'll come back to bite you. Somehow. We'll move our assistant up. Ready to fight. Uh, this is our real matriarch, so we're going to chill. Poke, poke, poke. I didn't use any visions of victory, so we're not going to get any crazy crits from just random stuff here. Uh -huh. Unfortunately. 50-50 for Morgan to land the killing blow. How you doing? All right, Spear Wolf's going in. Not the safest thing I've ever done, but we're not here to be safe. We're here to win. Speaking of being safe, not you. All right, we're in the buff. Who's ready to go? Ah, yes, this spoder. Who could just run it down? Okay. It's fine. I guess we will have this guy go in then. And we'll keep waddling in this direction. 30% nailed it. You'll love to see it. That wild shaper speaker might be a little too far. So we'll go here and defend. All right, that looks good to me. Remember, the Reaper Bolt Throwers need one turn to restock their ammunition. So this turn we can do a bit of a toss if we want to. Good fumbles. Yes, attack of the worthless Spoda. Okay. Seems good. Bunk. Who's Lilianya going to kill now? you. Seems good to me. <laughs> well done. That's amazing. I just, I point at something and she kills it. That's all it takes. Just, just a point. Because I'm getting my point across. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, we'll go here. Hit you. Can I contribute to this at all? Not really. Just stand there. Get some damage in. 
It looks like this guy's trying to run. No. The enemy is fleeing. Very well. Flee, you craven dog. Not that it will save you. Because the city is ours. You have crumbled the last defenses of Alistair Theron and cast him into the astral void. Whatever schemes Alistair Theron held in the works, none of them shall come to fruition. The last of his misguided troops flee to hide in the hills and woods, his Ferelden kingdom, their spirits crushed by their false idols' yoke, now find themselves at your mercy, O oh, glorious witch of the wilds. Whatever the future holds, Alistair Theron is a thorn in your side, no more. I would have loved to do this. This would have made me happy. But we spent the money on getting a hero instead, so I don't regret that. We could manipulate the Fading Zeal to gain gold. So 10 evil for a single turn of gold doesn't seem worth it. We could guide him back to Magehaven. Or we can do nothing. Now Morgan and Alistair didn't get along. And Morgan would very happily doom Alistair to whatever his fate would be. But at the end of the day, in Inquisition anyway, depending on what you chose, the two of them kind of saw eye to eye. You know, sort of. Kind of. Basically what I'm saying is we'll guide him back to Magehaven so I can kick his ass again later. They don't let evil forest witches be king, for instance. There was a Ferelden king once who drooled on himself in such volume that he required a constant attendant to wipe his chin in court. You're making that up. Not at all. The kings of old would be pleased to see that their bloodline has not strayed very far from its roots. And I guess I'm just going to absorb this. Yeah, sure. So we'll grab this, we'll release this. As vassal, these two together can be fine. Alistair has been defeated. Well done. Well done. Now Rangrim's here. And I want this to Kingspire. How is... Okay. So... We should begin waddling in this direction. To see if we can pound this out real quick. Summon Astroflections has been researched. I didn't use it. Oh, Siege Magic. Oh, Siege Magic. But Astro Revelation. But Arcane Bond. Good Astro Revelation. I think, Like I said, I think it's funny. Gaia's Chosen will not be applied to Morrigan. She's fine as she is. Everyone else shall gain charge resistance. Plus three status resistance and plus 20 hit points. Truly, the wild. Morgan didn't need that. My domain has been invaded. Yes, indeed. So now we get five grievances every turn he's in my domain instead of three. Because we ended our... Our pact. Yep. He's trespassing. He's trespassing like a madman. The upkeep for Blessing of Paradise is 200... Or 20 mana. Could you imagine a 200 upkeep? That'd be nuts. So. Let's get in our capital city. That seems good. I need more Berserkers. Berserkers. There's a part of me that regrets not putting the thing, the race transformation on Morgan, but I literally don't think she would do that. Wow. Okay, bro. Really? Are you... Dumb. 
It takes five turns to do this. Bro, I'll take a moderate a moderate justification. I'll do it. Okay, hold on. I want this city. Silver Bridge is now going to be named New Denerim. Denerim, of course, the capital city of Ferelden. Uh, Iron Bowl can come sit here. And your production is... Why is your production so low? I guess we should see what he's done or hasn't done. And we're definitely going to go here to progress towards that. Um, you didn't get this, of course. And I like research posts. Lines, that's fine. Farm, whatever. A levy camp. Okay. Farm ruins, repair that. You just plop down this right in, in the middle of my territory. Like, bro, what the... It's fine. Calm down. We're all good. Uh, so we have a lot of gold mines and a lot of quarries. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to make this place the... Um, the Merchant's Guild. Oh, we can get a Lord Manor as well. Not that big of a deal. I don't know how your production is so absolutely awful with this many quarries, but it is what it is. So let's just get started on this. Yeah? I want a golem. I'm going to put it right here, I think. So we'll wait on that. Your food income is okay. Nothing special. Yeah, whatever. Let's just build the merchant skill. It'll take a while. Ferelden's orderly. Fantastic. We are marching onward. You have completed the Masonic Hall. Uh, that's fine. Just produce... Astral Drew acquired. A hero's offer to join. We're not going to take a hero. A treaty has been broken. Oh, dear. Yes. Ugh. Great. You ignore my claims, bro. I don't know if denouncing really does anything. I have become the keeper of the Ferelden Kingdom. So if we want to basically give, like recruit Ferelden units, we can give them Gaia's Chosen and Supergirl and all that stuff. I'm not too keen on doing that, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with just spawning animals and barbarians. And by pretty happy, I mean extremely happy. You recognize your transgressions, huh? Do you? Do you? I'm going to fabricate a grievance against you. Because we can just pop on down and bop him in the face. Ah, this is annoying, though. Four turns. I'm headlong assaulting this. Three turns. I can't make it any faster. Can I do this in a way that doesn't hurt me? Yes. I have no gold, though. Well. This is headlong assaulted. It's fine. 
They may come out against me, they may not. Basically what we need to do now is we need to make sure no one really comes and fights me. Like, everyone's mad at me, right? The world is mad at me. But it doesn't matter. What we need to do is we just need to clear out our stuff. Pop all this. And then clear out the golden wonders. And then chill. Do we need to get a summon greater animal going? I kind of think we do, team. I mean, Imperium upkeep. Ah! I think we're just blessing of paradise again. A hero wants to join, but again, we're not going to do that. New Empire skill available. We can just spawn a unit of magical origin stuff. And I think I'm actually going to do that. How much Imperium do we have? Actually, we need to get this going. Soon. Let's save the Imperium. A new rally has begun. Let me get knights now. Well, well, well. I do like knights. Knights are pretty fun. We don't have cavalry as barbarians. I don't know why the camera moved here, and it concerns me that it did. It concerns me greatly that it did. Don't go through the mountains if you can't make a road in the mountain. Uh, it's fine. The AI totally knows what it's doing. Astral Revelation. Enchanted Bloom. Astral 2 is acquired. Focus Crystal is acquired. The Blessing of Paradise is ready to roll. You are orderly. It goes up to Harmonious, by the way. So, there's that. Special Province Increments gain plus 5 gold. Grant plus 5 gold. Good. More important later. City was released as a vassal. Indeed. Give me that. Mana. You thought I was going to say knowledge, didn't you? I really appreciate you just randomly invading my shit. It's actually really going to help me declare war on you. Later. Let's get this ready. It's going to blow your mind how much vision we're about to have. It's going to be great. Attack me. Do it. Coward. Here we go. So where's some fog of war here? Um, Like over here. This will be fine. Yeah. Watch this. No more fog of war. Boom. We just see... We see the world. Well, mostly. Greenhold's expanding quite well. You guys are making me proud. You are going to go bop this. That should be an auto. Yeah, okay. Good enough. The Ring of Endurance. Great. Then you're going to go bop this. This might be an auto. It was. And now, oh, look at Brigand Camp. Hmm. It'll be fine, right? Probably. They'll deal with it. Probably. Uh, what do you want to do now? You could come over here. I guess you're just wandering about for a wee minute. Building all the road gore. Enchanted Bloom. The next research. Unleash the beast. And the Iron Bull has leveled up. Gonna grab Killing Momentum. Killing Momentum is amazing. With uh, the axe. Rangrim just loves invading. He's never gonna stop. Never going to give me up. Let's grab the Enchanted Bloom. So the Enchanted Bloom is the upkeep spell I mentioned a while ago, which 
If we put it on a city, it will continuously change provinces into grasslands. So we can get rid of the fact that I can build nothing but quarries in our capital city. A nymph comes frolicking from faraway lands and dances before you, flowers springing up from wherever her feet land. You are drawn into the depths of her eyes, like bottomless pools of cool green water. Her dance grows more feral and intense. The nymph seems to receive pleasure from exaggerated movements until she suddenly stops in a suggestive pose, her ravenous gaze lingering on your body. Celebrate spring's fertility with me, which of the wilds, Morrigan the Inheritor, expose me to your dominion's potency. Can your expansion impress the nymph? Is that what we're calling it now? Uh, no, I need to build a new den room. You want a lot? I have a lot of gold. Why? Two population in New Ostagar. Growth is blocked for a single turn. Gain a shitload of draft. Lose gold. Gain a frost wyvern mount. Huh. Well, unfortunately... Both Morrigan and y uh, Yaka, the Iron Bull, cannot use this. So that's unfortunate. What we're going to do is we're going to um, block the growth for a single turn and then just build Berserkers. That sounds good. I like Berserkers. Also, I had a thought. Uh, an idea. And uh, this is kind of a waste of mana, but in the back of my head, I keep hearing that I should have put in Gaia's Chosen on Morrigan. And I can fix that. I can do it. She's gained 5 mana for each resource node in their domain. Instantly gain 20 knowledge for each province in your empire's domain. We're going to pop that when I take this new city over. Uh, I can cast Gaia's Chosen again on the Ferelden and apply it to Morgan. So, you know, uh, you're going to chill. You're going to guard my beautiful city. You are going to go pop this. Fantastic. Arc fire orb. Okay, okay. I don't know what you're going to do now, but... And we grab our tier 5 tome. Now, I had a hard time deciding, personally between giving Morgan at the time of the Archmage, because this is all about manipulation of space and time, and Morgan does manipulate space. Not really time, but space. Um, But at the end of the day, she is the Witch of the Wilds, and so we're going to grab the Tome of the Goddess of Nature. In the end... We shall all be humbled before one who can fully harness the forces of nature. The giver of life and cultivator of death. The tamer of the tempest and the guardian of the glade. The beasts shall howl your name. The leaves shall whisper your blessings and the lands shall be better for your flourishing rule. All right, I'd like to make it known that I made the correct decision because this affects all of my barbarian units because they are plants now, I guess. Uh, so if I do an animal barbarian army, all of them are going to have 20% crit hit chance and plus four blight damage. So we're going to lock mass rejuve, which is a heal all people and bring back animals and plants from the dead, which will be my entire army. Grab force of nature. We've unlocked the heart of nature, the tier three. The final component for the magical victory. Oh, hey, that's almost done. Because you now have 120 production. Okay, that's fine. Where is it? Here it is. Plus one nature affinity. Nature damage spells deal plus 20 blight damage. Nature debuff spells inflict two weaken. And it is required for the magical victory. So when we are rich, when we are strong, and when we are powerful, we can construct the heart of nature and the root of nature simultaneously and then trigger... The Magical Victory Condition. Turn 57. 57. 
Not bad. Do I fight this? It depends if they kill something. All right. They killed the spirit wolf. Can't have that. I mean, they can always summon another one, but can't have that. Bop, bop. First things first, you know. And bop, bop. Okay. Oh, there are triple knights over here. Oh, spooky. Okay. Well. Let's get our animal companion out. And there's no shock unit over here. So we are going to have to run in with our assistants. And then everyone else can come in and get involved. You were blinded. Somehow. Yes. Yeah, strengthen me. Ooh. You're going to chill. I mean, if you go in, you'll be fine. You'll get rear charge, but it'll be okay. Especially if you move up and then defend. That'll help. Eight and eight. Those are some solid defenses, too. How about here? Do I have a heal for anybody? I mean, I could also always just, you know, rip a bunch of shots. Let's be a little defensive, though. After all, the AI got everything killed because they're smart. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Uh, so we're probably going to have to pull back here. The knights will come for us. Don't worry. They will. It's a conspiracy about that. Get the animal going. Pull back our furies. What hasn't moved yet? You? Yeah, sure. Spawn an egg. I could have moved that. All right, some flanks. See where these charges go? Right into the back, as expected. All righty. Easy. Easy game, easy life. So... Shall I unleash the beast? That sounds horrifying. And yet... I'm into it. I guess I could have done this from the... My little shortcut. Alright, let's unleash the beast. Go ahead and over channel. Where are we unleashing, though? That's the question. We need to unleash someone who's going... You know, I found the answer. Let's do it. Unleash the Spirit Wolf. You don't restore AP, right? That's the other thing. Yeah, okay. There you go. How about it? You'll do fine. Hmm, as for this... Freeze? Oh, got one. We tried to go for two. You are so dead. Unbelievably dead. You're fine. Let's get you going. Just fly in here. Provide emotional support. Who is this? Oh. Dead. That's what that is. You can go that way. Bonk. Liliania. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. That was all that was necessary. No. 
I've whiffed so many of those. It's like the game is saying you're powerful enough. You don't need more. Which is, it's mistaken. It is sorely mistaken. I always need more. Um. I guess I'm going to go in here. And believe in the Grimbeak. The AI will want to kill it. So we're going to hopefully be fine. 50. What are those chances to hit? Come on, fairies. Do better. I believe in you. This guy will break off and rear charge into that. Which is kind of annoying. Or just come down here. Let's take the 70. Can you reach? Fantastic. And baby's boaters. And hang on. All right. Yes, hit the Grim Beak. What just did that? Yep, good berserk kill. I mean, you killed the unit that was dying. So, you know. Not the most efficient thing in the world, but... Well, fine enough. Baby Spoders get a nom nom nom. It's always nice to kill a knight with baby Spoders, you know? Let them know that their title doesn't mean shite. Alrighty. Let's absorb this. And we're gonna go ahead and increase our city cap. Fantastic. We probably also want to go ahead and get the teleporter provinces. Because we're, you know, far away from our capital city. Might as well use the Imperium now. One time we're going to absorb this. So let's have... Who's our strongest army? Okay. It's sad to say this, but it's probably Liliania. Because she just crumps everything. So... What if we take out the spears? Probably put in a fairy. And Lilian Nya takes this on. While Morrigan goes to the Decaying Spire. Should we do it vice versa? This will be fine. I mean, this war shaman is freaking useless. In the Decaying Spire. Well, maybe it'll be fine. Alright. We'll split up. And you can go into this deck. And this deck can... Well, chill out. Take a turn to rest. Forces of Nature is researched. Let's get... Mass Rejuve. Yes, we made a Berserker. New Empire skills are available. Somewhere. We have the remains of Gina Avery. Useless. Useless. A treaty has expired with Greenhold. Give me that mana. I'm going to need a lot of it. We can integrate this city. That's fine. Domain has been invaded. Again. You realize I'm just going to... How have I not gotten more... more out of this? In fact, screw it. Let's go. Give me more justification. Now, with all this cash, we need to start building stuff. Lots of stuff. Doesn't matter where this is built, I don't believe. So do that. You can go to the next tier and start constructing berserkers of your own. New Denerim is well on its way to doing stuff. What do you count as? 
Uh, conduit. Enemies cannot target world map spells. Wizard Bombardment Siege Project. Oh. Adds the Bone Dragon. Okay. So there's nothing you really build here. If I put the Golem Mine there, it'd be pretty spicy. And you can only be a farm, right? Yeah. So, I mean, we can put the, um... Oh, you know what we should do? We put the heart and root right next to each other here. So that way they can be defended by just three armies. That's good. Okay. That's, that's smart. I like that. Big brain that. Okay. There you go. I'm not going to rush this. So we're going to do double golden wonder and call it a day. I mean, that could be a next episode thing. But I won't tease you. Kalidor has built the root of astral biomine. The iron bowl. What we could do is we could go bonk this. I don't think we want to. I think we're fine. I think it's all good. All right, Morgan. How exciting. We're destroying Alistair and we're doing two gold and one. Oh, you have to heal. Do you have to heal as well? No, no, no. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'm not going to deceive you that hard. Now we have to repair this. Or not. Replace it? I guess I couldn't build whatever that was. The flowing fields. What shall you be named? No, no, no. Manual. We get another hero. We also are going to name you. Oh my. Um, you get a lot of stuff. Get all that crap. Start there. Uh, you're next to the world tree, which doesn't help me in naming you. Hmm. Do we have a new... Another good weapon? Let's see. What What's our stock? Let me check that. Let me get this first. We need more... Draft. Defal and Kalidor are at war. We're gonna get... We're in between, like, three different wars. Which is kind of insane. Um... Thoughts, yes. So we have a lightning sword and an arc fire orb. I do have an idea. Okay. I mean, I'm borrowing the naming of uh, <laughs> Liliania. But if we go to our hero screen. Just double check. Make sure you guys don't have anything good. We could. No, we don't want another bow user. Let's take another magic user. What are your items here? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. So, Alistair's mother. I guess disdain the weak is fine. Oh, a bunch of order stuff, though. Oh, if we can rush. I don't think we can. The final tier of this. Yeah. Okay, we're not even going to think about it. It'd be great, but we're not even going to think about it. Uh, but Alistair's mother is actually the Archmage Fiona. So, this person, I guess, can be, you know where this is going, right? Lady Fiona. I guess you could be gifted. Uh, she eventually became first enchanter of Ferelden. Eventually. These are the poison orb. Congratulations, you have an art fire orb. And I have nothing good for you, really. Oh, I need to reset your skills. Yes, yes, yes. Reset. You can get Magecraft 1. And then Experience Leader. 
and then restore strength training. Great. You have double berserker for now. Uh, you'll get more stuff soon, don't worry. Like, I don't know. Another berserker. Seems good to me. And you become the governor of the flowing fields. Well, if the first enchanter is the governor, was it just called the Circle of Ferelden? I think it was. The where like all the mages gathered. That sure, that's fine. Alrighty. Oh, I need to check all these things too. Like that, that's nonsensical. But I'm pretty sure that can't be anything else. I also want to get that one spell. Oh, I'm so close to being able to cast this. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's mostly aesthetic at this point. You enter a dark, decaying spire. It used to be a grand, stable beacon for all magical beings, but now you and your army quickly notice something is off. Without moving, you'll find yourself at the other end of the hallway, up the stairs, or back at the door. It becomes clear that some force here is warping the tower and displacing its furniture and everyone within it. Your army scrambles as they find themselves displaced throughout the tower. Suddenly, your troops find themselves standing eye to eye with a lost wizard. Before it disappears again, danger approaches. Okay. Let us use our arcane prowess to delay the warping. How does the auto do? Oh, it actually does really well. But we'll fight this. The Lost Wizards are the most powerful unit in the game. Most powerful single unit in the game. And that is the Mimic that we could get. Uh -huh. I am trying to determine... I want to do this buff. It looks a little bit like this. Okay. Try and get all the important things in, you know? Now this map is wild, as you can see. Allowing for a lot of shenanigans. Or none, depending on how you want to look at it. Let's go. I need to be one distracted. Everyone else is resistant. Okay. Great. That actually worked out really well. The phase beast here is from the Tomo Teleportation. A shock unit they can teleport around and when it gets hit, it bounces. Which is going to be the theme of this area, unfortunately. Everything's going to bounce. One down. Already. No matter where I go with you, you're kind of screwed. You're going to defend. You can defend as well. Alright. In the turn. I'm really worried about what the Lost Wizards are going to do. They collected a spell. You have transformed into my Matriarch. The Greater Phase, which is some bullshit, if you ask me. Not that anyone did. Null. What is that? Null dot drains. This thing is Astra Refuge, so it has one hit point and it can't be killed. This turn. Great. Now, the fun thing about the Mimic, which is not a sentence anyone ever wants to open up with, I assure you, is that... When it dies, it will resume its Mimic form, which isn't very powerful. 
honestly. There is another trick with the Mimic. Which is about its... Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Do I do it? No, no, no. Keep our mana. When it accepts something... Oh, right, the shift. When it mimics something. If it mimics something of a lower tier, it will gain more stats. I'm not sure exactly how that works. That was a lot of damage, though. If it mimics something of a higher tier, it will gain less stats. It'll be weaker. So, there's that. Fun, ain't it? Okay. I am one tile out of the way. Fantastic. You can kill that, though. The way to deal with that is to kill it in one turn. So. That's what we did. One, two. I guess we'll go fight this out. Ice Boater is better than that one, so. You're right. And more again. Get a shot, actually. Well done, well done. Didn't use any magic there, but I don't feel the need to. We might do Restore Magical Origin here. Or whatever that's called. Craven Dog. Okay. It flees because it knows it has no choice. It flees because it must. I might restore. I'll see. It'd be great if you could kill this. Fantastic. Okay. I think we restore Magical Origin next turn. This coming turn. Yeah, that's fine. Just do all your random shit. Null drains. Whatever you say, brah. Here we go. Okay, can I finally get in? I can. I think I can. I think I can. We. Okay. We're in. Finally. Let us restore magical origin. Um, actually, let's not. That's not quite as impactful as I thought it was. You know what we will do, though? Unleash the beast. Which I should have waited. That's fine. Holy Morgan. Oh. That was so close. I need to run. These guys do not have auto attacks, so I can safely flee the vicinity. But I don't actually know if I am safe. Morgan might fall. I mean, it'd be a temporary fall, of course, but it would be a fall. Please let me. There you go. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Nice. Morgan lives. Go. Cool. We'll mark this as prey. And I guess it's beat it as many times as I can. Get the burb. Alright. 70 percenter. GG. Not bad. Morgan tanked as well as she could. After defeating the creatures and the warping, decaying spire, some sense of peace returns to the twisted place. The tower can now be traversed with a relative ease, although the warping continues. 
Your army tries to collect as many books and riches as they can to stop the objects from popping in and out of existence. You enter the top spire of the tower, where the displacement seems strongest, and you find the body of a wizard warped into a wall. A failed arcane experiment caused the problems at the tower. What object do you save before it is warped into the astral sea? That is a lot of knowledge. We can save the mirror shield. Now we don't have a melee tank. 840 gold or save the ancient tome. The tome of teleportation. Hmm. We have so much research, we can get the Tome of Teleportation, so we're going to save the Mirror Shield. And of course, New Denerim is going to annex the Decaying Spire. Fantastic. And Liliania. Now that I have um, that shield, I kind of want Fionia to be a, uh, a shielded character. Oh well. Lelianya is going in to the world tree. While approaching a majestic world tree, Lelianya is stopped by a regal guardian emerging from a hut nearby. She greets Lelianya warmly. I bid thee well, traveler. My fellow guardians of the tree and I once saved it from being destroyed by demons, undead, and even mortals. Now, though an unexpected enemy threatens us, one of our own. Corruption has taken hold of the Horned God, who has taken to consuming the life of the tree itself. A pensive gaze shifts to the world tree. I do not ask this lightly, Harrowin, but this corrupted Horned God must be stopped. Okay. I think we just go in. Oh, this is no big deal. Can I auto it? I can even auto it. And I'm going to. This is fine. The wise guardian greets Lianya after the sounds of battle have faded. Thank you. Now the world tree can heal once more. I know you seek resources to strengthen your forces, she says before she looks upon the fallen enemies who once stood with her. Obsession corrupts the purest of souls. Be careful that your quest for power does not corrupt the things you once cherished. Even the grandest tree will fall when its roots are rotting. Then she smiles. Enough lectures. The world tree and its guardians are indebted unto you, brave heroine. State your wish. Uh, more knowledge. I love it. We can grow the Circle of Ferelden. We can grab an Entwine Protector and a Horned God instantly. We can get the Lightning Immunity Ring. Or, we can boon. Um, this may sound arrogant, but I don't think I need these units. Like, I'm going to be able to summon them soon anyway. Well, one of them. And I don't need that grow. Shall we just boon? Shall we vibe? This is a vibe. Commune with the tree and take all that it has to offer. So the world tree here acts as a forester and gains two mana and two knowledge per forester within the settlement. So if we can have a forester. Awkward. I don't think I can have a single one. I'm pretty sure I can't have a single forester. All right. That is um fine. 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 Just going to have all the conduits. So many conduits. Yes, conduits. I did... I... Hmm. I didn't mean to press that button. But since I did... 
I'll grab that back corner. And we'll, this is where we're gonna, oh, I built the thing here. You ever just feel like you did something really dumb? I guess I can absorb this later. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we'll do. I don't know why I clicked on that. We've gained enough to do the race transformation, and I will apply it to Morgan this time. Gaia's chosen. How does Morgan look? There we go. Now she is truly, rightfully, the witch of the wilds. Start with 20 morale. Not bad. Spell amp. Isn't there a thing now? Let's get Magecraft too. That's fine. What does the the tier 5 chum give me? Oh. Right. I'm gonna grab Arcane Bonds. Because if we fight a magical origin unit, and I remember two two stipulations there. Uh, we can bombast it. Where do I put this teleporter? Maybe we wait. I'm trying to think of where I need to go. I guess we're going... Maybe we hang out here for a second? Yeah, like, where am I going? You can hang out here in New Lothering for a second. Arcane Bond is complete. Forest Awareness. Shall we spy on the world? That sounds fun. And just like that, we have the next tome available to us, and we're going to grab the Tome of Nature's Wrath. If we feel like it, we can summon a Horned God. And I can get this too. Now we can kind of do whatever we want. Research wise. Nature is the leaf upon the wind, the nestling newborn lamb. It is also the furious tempest, rending the land asunder, the mighty maelstrom tearing apart stone and flesh alike. Nature can be cruel, unforgiving, powerful. Harness it, and you will command the primal energies that leave lesser beings quaking in terror. Boom, Horned God. I like how I went into this and I'm like, we're not going to have a whole lot of... I just killed. We're not going to have a whole lot of knowledge to work with. So we have to be careful. We have to think about what our, we're doing. And, um... Meanwhile... Meanwhile... I just have all of the knowledge the world could ever desire. Okay, this is going to be a golem mine. Because we get additional production per quarry. Yes. Right there. Because when we, when we blow this up eventually, which will be sooner rather than later at this rate, um, that'll all be quarries. Liliania has leveled up and she has obtained, there it is, the Avatar of Nature. Base attacks have a base 60% chance of inflicting poison, decaying, weakened, or mobilized. There's one problem with this. Liliania is killing everything before she has the chance. Let's kill momentum. Kill momentum only gives one AP back upon kill, so but that'll be a chance. And in the meantime, we need to get this up. Force of nature. This is gonna be amazing. Next turn. Next turn. New empire development skill is available. Gain 15 knowledge for every magical material your empire has access to. For a lot, a lot. That sounds fun. Can I get you a thousand knowledge? I have been denounced. Okay. Um, team, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're strong. I think next time, all we have to do is... Like, put down teleporters, build up an army, another, like, two more stacks, 
and uh, then go for the Age of Nature. I think that's it. I think that's all we gotta do. Hey, Fionia. Is this a shield? Yeah, it's the mirror shield. Yeah. If we get another hero, we'll do that. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. This is a full of surprises. Alistair, double golden wonders. I had a blast. And the Witch of the Wilds is ready to be a true witch of the wilds. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And if you like something happy, you know, feel free to join the description in the description down below. And I will see you next time for establishing the beginning of the age of nature. Or going to war with somebody. Might just go bomb Grand again. I don't know. We'll see. Bye!